Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We are in Zora's Domain, about to figure out what problem these people have, and how we can, you know, help solve it. Except, not really. I'm not gonna talk to that guy. I've got something else I've got to do first. What is with the chieftains of this kingdom and keeping the fire reserved for their own private chambers? Like, come on. You gotta make sure you're giving your people the gift of light, right? Uh, put that away. I'm sure glad I didn't break my stick doing that, but I should have just enough time to also get this in under here without losing my stick. Please put it away, Link. Put it away. Put it away. Yeah! And I've held true to my promise of only using one stick throughout the whole game for another piece of heart. Hooray. Now, obviously we're going to talk to the King Zora and learn about... No. Hi, sir. What can you tell me? Oh, a diving game for 20 rupees? Sure, I'll play. A limited amount of time to pick up all the rupees you throw? You'll give me something nice if I succeed? Well, of course. Start... Oh. I... I was going to. Thank you. Wow, I got two with just the impact of diving. And then there's one just here. And one... Just... Oh? Hang on. What if I missed that one? I knew it was one, like, behind me. There we go. Congratulations, you have something nice for me? Well, okay. So what was my prize, good sir? A scale of your kind. With it, I can dive deeper underwater. Well, thank you. That's going to help me get back here quickly. Because I'm still... Still not going to talk to King Zora about what the problem is. Because I already know what the problem is. Anyway. Welcome to Lake Hylia. We've entered it via unusual means, but... Oh, I didn't quite get that bottle. I guess I wasn't lined up with it right. There we go. Huh, an empty bottle. Put something inside and press Z to use it. What? Something's already inside. It appears to be a letter. A message in a bottle, huh? Interesting. Hmm. Hello, Mr. Scarecrow. You're Bonoru, the Scarecrow musical genius. You hear a song once and you never forget it. And you are... Pierre, the wandering Scarecrow. You wish you could look for soul-moving sounds, but you are stuck here. I see. Hmm. I do in fact have an ocarina. Lay a tune on you? Hmm. You know what? The easiest thing to do is just hit left and right repeatedly. But let's do an actual song. We'll go... Oh. Dang it. Hey. 
It needs to be eight notes and right, left, right, down, right, up. Hang on. I'm trying to remember the Elegy of Emptiness. Yeah, the Elegy of Emptiness is only seven notes. Okay, I'm just gonna do that again, but a little bit faster. Right, left, right, down, right, up, left, A. Gotta throw the A in there. Yep, I'm sure he'll remember that. Any of while I'm here in Lake Hylia, I can go fishing. So I'm gonna do that. You know, I'm meant to be collecting these spiritual stones or something, but you know what? That seems like a hassle. Why not just do a good old game of fishing? Hello, sir. Yes, I would like to fish for 20 rupees. And I have, have a rumble pack. Walk up to the water's edge, target a fish, I can cast my line. Uh-huh. Oh, I forgot you can hold R to reel a thing in faster. I guess that's important. Okay, uh, what was the record size I'm trying to beat? Six pounds. Gotcha. Okay, big fish. I think you're one of the larger ones I can get at this point. Come on. Come on, just go for the bite, buddy. Gotcha. And find the right tension point. And... Should be easy as that. First try. Real lunker that weighs 10 pounds. Well, of course I'll keep it. That's four pounds heavier than the record fish in this pond. Weigh my fish, sir. Whoa, this fish is huge! Looks like a new record! Weighs at least 10 pounds, here's your prize. A piece of heart. Well, thank you, sir. Oh, uh, yeah, you might wanna... You might wanna take my rod back as well. Okay, when I'm older, the fish will be bigger and I'll get a better prize. But as of right now, I think this is all I can do here. I mean, technically I could check out the underside of a grave, but, uh... That's not necessary. At least not right now. I honestly forget which Deku merchants have upgrades or not, but the Deku merchant upgrades aren't very important. But if I'm gonna do a 100% run, I'll get to them eventually. Right now, we found a mysterious letter in a bottle. I wonder what importance that could have. I wonder. It's truly a mystery. Hey, a guy I haven't talked to at all, do you understand the importance of this? Oh, this letter, it's from Princess Ruto. Let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu? That's not possible. Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Ruto. But since that stranger, Ganondorf, came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear. Of course, you'll go find Ruto. You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter. You keep the bottle it was in. 
Take it respectfully. Please find my dear Princess Ruto immediately. Zora! I'm not cutting this. I mean, this is slow, painful, especially if you've played the game a number of times already. But I'm not cutting this. He's... This sequence... It... It goes on. Nearly there? You... There we go. And now I'm not going to do that thing I was just told to do. So I accidentally did the uh, diving minigame again on my way here, but uh, all I was after was a fish. But I didn't realize how much you can profit off of doing the diving minigame again. The dude threw out a 50 rupee among a group of all the other low value ones. So, you know, that's my money back plus a lot. Anyway, just walk around here. Thank you, sir, for getting out of the way earlier. Also, slingshot. What's up with this beehive up here? Come now. Does that really not fall with a slingshot? Do I need the boomerang? Or a bow and arrow? But bow and arrow isn't for much later. Oh. You must be Lord Jabu Jabu that I've heard so much about. Hmm. Well. I am under the assumption that you are quite hungry, sir. And I'm sure the sign there says something about leaving an offering. So you know what? I happened to catch this fish earlier. Would you be interested? I think he might be interested. Well, enjoy your meal. Uh-oh. Wait, no, I wasn't included in the meal! We are now inside Jabu Jabu's belly. Supposedly. I mean... I don't know, I'm fairly certain that the stomach is a little further through the digestive tract. This is more of like, inside Jabu Jabu's m mouth. His, his belly shouldn't be until much further in. But oh no, there's a switch on the ceiling. However, will we press it? Really? Gotta love that Z-targeting sometimes just throws your aim off instead of making it better. Now these are... Uh, berries or... Baris. The jellyfish that can electrocute you. Let's not worry about them for now. What we should worry about is finding... Hmm... Oh! As young Zora girl. You must be Princess Ruto. You, who are you? I am Ruto, Princess of the Zoras. What? Are you saying my father asked you to come here to save me? I'd never ask anyone to do such a thing. L letter in a bottle? I have no idea what you're talking about. My father is worried about me? I don't care. Anyway, I can't go home right now, and you... get out of here, understand? Uh, oh no! Uh... You okay down here, ma'am? Are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. 
I'm okay. I've been going inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly since I was little. You still are. But Lord Jabu Jabu is very strange today. There are electrified jellyfish and strange holes around. On top of that, my precious stone was... But that's none of your business. Anyway, you, go home now, understand? Sorry, you mentioned a precious stone? That wouldn't happen to be the Zora's Sapphire, would it? You're that worried about me? Um, yes, I'm worried about your safety as a child inside the giant fish, not a... Not a personal vested interest or anything. Then I will give you the honor of carrying me. However, I won't leave until I find the thing I'm looking for. You'd better believe me. Okay then, if you insist. Don't worry, princess. I'll protect you from these weirdly damaging bubbles. Okay, they're just gonna go away. Sure. Ruto, you're still fine? Good. Sorry, Princess Ruto. Didn't mean to refer to you without using your proper title. That... That was, uh... Inconsiderate of me. Improper. And... One of the few uses for Deku Nuts. Yeah! Got him. Oh, and the Deku Nuts also get uh, the bubbles. Good to know. And kill this other one. Okay, the area's safe, your highness. Let's see. Skulltula? Hmm. Seems like the uh, time on that switch is kind of short. But I'm okay with that. Wait. Bottle this fairy as well. Excellent. Now I should have no hassles with the rest of this dungeon. Let's equip some actually reasonably useful items. If we pick Ruto up, we can then throw her up that ledge, hit the water, hit the water, uh, eh, words. Hit the water so I can get up here with her. Hey Ruto, you don't happen to damage these things, do you? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Ah, uh, I'm so glad I tried that. Ow. <laughs> oh, the irony of the fact everything that just happened there. I throw Ruto in an effort to hit the bubble. I miss. The bubble hits me but drops a heart so I take no damage. And Ruto hits the switch on the ceiling to open the way forward. Ah, oh, that's great. Hang on. If I go through there, which I think I need to for a Skulltula, that means abandoning Ruto and backtracking. Ah, well. Sorry, princess. I'll return for you later. Oh, god damn it. It's just the business scrub. Hopefully that didn't actually reload the room. What do you even sell? You sell nuts? I don't care. But this wasn't a Skulltula. I'm an idiot. I can only hope that this area doesn't count as a separate room. 
Okay, Rodo's fine. Uh, sorry, your highness. I didn't abandon you. As long as I don't enter a different room than you, it doesn't count as abandoning you. Now we're on our way up. Hopefully not going to be hit by a uh, Bari or Beery, whichever one it is. Okay, it's all the way over there. We should be fine. And now we make progress through here. Not going in any weird holes in the floor. I'm so lucky I missed that. I forget which way to go first. I'm assuming far left. Because that's where this switch is. This switch, which I can sit our dear princess on and therefore enter this room. I can't fight that thing yet. Yeah, she's gonna be indignant about the fact I just left her alone in there. Oh well. We'll deal with Ruto's little tantrum in the next episode. Bye.